Thank you for taking the time to review this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can travel to your dream destination in luxury for essentially free using nothing but points and miles. I'm going to go over the basics as well as show you my top 10 personal cards that I use to maximize the points and miles system, as well as other things that you can do to earn millions of points and miles. Now, my wife and I have not paid for a hotel in the last 11 plus years. And since becoming a family of four, we have only traveled in first and business class as a family of four internationally in the last five and a half years. If you like what you hear and see, please use my referral links as well as my QR codes to sign up for any of the programs or cards that I suggest. Now, if you stay to the end of the video, I promise I have a surprise for you. Now let's Thank begin. you for taking the time to review this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started. You know, how to travel your, to your dream destinations in luxury for free. Well, essentially free. And the reason why I say essentially free is because you do have to pay the taxes for the flights. For example, my family of four and I, we all flew Singapore Airlines business class to Singapore from JFK to Singapore nonstop. These were the seats. Now, my youngest daughter at the time was under two, so she was a lap child, but my oldest daughter did have her own seat, as you can see here. We flew Singapore Airlines business class. This would have cost us for three seats, 17, almost $18,000 actually, almost $18,000. And that was booking in advance, but it only cost us $206.85. That's the thing about travel hacking. When you book with points or miles, you only pay the taxes. Now, when you book a hotel, you can book the hotel with all points and and all the taxes are included, especially with Hilton. So I'm going to deep dive in, but let's think about this before we get started. First, what are some of your dream destinations, right, that you want to go to? How would you like to travel there? Do you want to do, does it not matter if it's economy or do you want to fly first in business? And most importantly, what's holding you back? Now, a lot of people may think, oh, well, you know, what's holding me back is, is I have kids now or whatever the case may be. So when we first started traveling, people thought that kids would hold us back. It was just my wife and I. But as you can see now, once we started having kids, we're still flying first class in Emirates here. We've been to Conrad Bora Bora with both of our daughters. So it's not the kids that's holding us back. What most people say that hold them back is these top two things here. Pay time off for PTO, your vacation days, and then pretty much no money. These are the top two things that people tell me that hold them back. It's not always necessarily kids. It's like I don't have the time or I don't have the money. Well, let me teach you a way to strategically maximize your days. So let's just assume that you um, work Monday through Friday and you have Saturday and Sunday off. We're just going to go with that assumption. And then let's go Let's go with uh, traveling during the federal holidays. Like a holiday like Christmas, New Year's, or even you know July 4th in the U.S. Holidays that they give you a Monday off usually. Now let's break this down. You can turn a two days PTO, two day, taking two days off, into a six day, five night trip. And here's how. First, as you can see on the screen here, the, uh, the equal sign in yellow means that that day is off, and then the red is gonna represent you taking that day off. So all you're gonna do is take off a Tuesday, you're gonna take off a Friday, and look at this. You can go right there, that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, right? And you come back, uh, I would say Tuesday or Wednesday. Right there, that's already like five days. So let me show you six day, five night. On Thursday, here's the tip. A lot of times, especially if you're salary, right? If you say, hey, to your supervisor, look, I need to take off a little early. I'm, you know, I'm going to the airport. What always happens, especially when they know you're going on vacation? It's like they always want to give you work. It's like, oh, well, I got this to do it. And you, you got this. And you, can you do this? Can you fix this? It never fails. But check this out. Just say that you're going to go to the dentist. Say that you have to get your car fixed. Say anything other than something fun. I promise you, if you say, hey, I need to check out, you know, leave a little early because I got to go to the dentist. Oh, go ahead. That sucks. Anything that sucks is like, go ahead. They don't worry about work being done, even though they know you took off Friday. Check this out. So you want to take a half a day on Thursday, especially with your salary, right? That's what this represents, half a day. Now, when you leave on Thursday, you want to leave and fly somewhere that you can get there that night. So if you leave midday Thursday, you still arrive that night. So we're talking like five, six hour flight, right? And now you get there Thursday night. And when you use points, I'll show you as well. You get the fifth night free, 
with Hilton and Marriott and then IG, you actually get the fourth night free. So that's the great thing about using points as well. So now you leave Thursday. Now look at this. Thursday, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six days, five nights. Now here's what you do. Now I would leave Tuesday late night or even I, I'd leave early morning thir uh, Wednesday so that I can get there back on time. And another tip is this. Hey, I'm running a little late. Uh, car broke down, running a little late. So when you come back on Wednesday, you know, don't say you're coming back from a trip. You just say, hey, you know, you know, car trouble. Uh, you had to bring the kids to school, something like that. And they're like, ah, they don't, no sweat. Get here when you get here and come back on Wednesday. I'll come back on Wednesday morning. That's my personal tip. And you literally only took off two days of work. You took off Tuesday and Friday. That's how you want to strategically maximize those days. That's how we were able to travel so much. Now, as far as money, people are like, well, I don't have any money. How, how, you know, how am I going to pay for these trips? I don't even have any cash. Well, here's the thing. Instead of using debit cards and regular credit cards that don't give you anything back, how about using travel cards that's going to give you more in return? And what I mean by that is this. If you go to a supermarket and you pay with cash or a debit card, you know what you get back? You get back the groceries and you get back a receipt. That's it. Why not use something like the American Express Gold Card where you get four points on a dollar in groceries or at grocery stores and restaurants, four points on a dollar. Here's the thing. If I spend a thousand dollars at the supermarket, right, and I use a debit card or a or, or credit card that's not giving me anything back, I'm just spending a thousand dollars. Whereas I can spend a thousand dollars on my AMX Gold and you use the, the travel cards like a debit card. You use it and you pay it off. You use it, you pay it off. You only use what you have in the bank. So if I spend a thousand dollars at the grocery store, now that's four thousand points that I got towards free travel. That's why you want to start getting into these travel cards. Now, I'm going to tell you what my top 10 personal cards are. These are my top 10 right here. I have several cards, but these are my top 10. Here's why. These first six cards here, they are actually these six and then this one over here. They're transferable cards. They transfer to multiple different airlines as well as hotels where you can earn points towards free travel, free ho hotel stays, all sorts of things. So let's break down these top 10 cards of mine. Now, these top 10 cards doesn't mean that these should be only your top 10 because some of them also, especially the United one, is based on where you're from, like you know where you fly out of. And I'm going to show you why. Now, for the AMX personal cards, American Express, my American Express Platinum card is one of my favorite in terms of benefits, but it's not a card that I use every day. A lot of people who have the American Express Platinum card, they'll use it every day, and you're only getting like one point on a dollar. The AMX Platinum card, I literally only use for airline tickets only. That's it, except United. United Airlines is the only one I don't use my American Express Platinum card, and I'll tell you why shortly. Five points on a dollar. If you book Spirit, Frontier, Delta, any airline, you're going to get five points on a dollar, and those points are transferable points. As you can see here, this is Delta One Suites that we flew as a family of four. That's my, my youngest daughter. She was asleep right here, so you couldn't see her, so I kind of put the picture there. All four of us had seats. This is now, you see my youngest daughter has her own seat. We flew Delta One for nothing but like 60 bucks total in taxes. Total, round trip to Italy. Eight hour flight, nonstop. I ate nine hour flight, nonstop, round trip, Delta One Suites. Now, Amex Gold, I use this card for supermarkets and restaurants only. I earn four points on a dollar. My Amex Green, now this is a, 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 a unique one. I earned three points on a dollar on all things transit. So Uber, Cruises is key. We cruise once a year. I use my AMX green card on cruises to earn three points on a dollar. I also, if you're from the Northeast, you know, even uh, down south, actually, in uh, Florida, where they have Easy Pass, Sun Pass, any type of tolls that you pay. You want to use the AMX green card because you're going to earn three points on a dollar on tolls, especially trains. If you live in New York or you live in, a, in an urban city or, you know, a, a city area where you take public transportation, you want to use the AMX green card. Now, here's another reason why I use the Amex Platinum card for even my Delta flights. I actually have the Delta Reserve card. People who have the Delta Reserve card would tell you, oh, I earned three points on a dollar. You know, I pay. If you're not chasing status, I don't chase status because I don't fly any one airline often, right? I fly a lot of airlines, but I don't fly every the same airline all the time. The one I actually fly the most would say United because I use 
live in the United Hub. But let me explain this to you. A person with the Delta Reserve card, which I do have, you only earn three points on the dollar when you pay for a Delta flight only. Now, this Platinum card, if you use the Amex Platinum card on that same Delta flight, you will earn five points on the dollar. And guess what? Those Platinum points transfers the Delta one to one. So not only do I get two additional points, than I would my the own reserve card, I can also, it's not segue to only using Delta because AMX points transfers to 20 different airlines. So that's why I use my AMX Platinum for all airlines except United, and I'll explain in a second. Personal cards continue. So these cards, my Capital One Venture X or Capital One Venture, Venture or Venture X, both earn two points per dollar on everything. Doesn't matter the category. So think Amazon Prime. Most people have Amazon Prime, right? Most people have it. So if you have Amazon Prime, what you should do is remove all credit cards, bank accounts that is connected to your Amazon Prime and get you a Capital One Venture or a Capital One Venture X and use that card to earn two points on a dollar on everything. That is why I use that card. It is my most used card. It's not my favorite card. It is my most used card. Now, the Capital One Venture X also comes with lounge access, a couple other things. But the other thing they do is they transfer to multiple multiple different airlines. Now, Chase Sapphire Reserve. Now, I like the reserve, but there is a preferred. The preferred is great. It's a lower annual fee. Both are great cards. My CSR, I use for car rentals. Now, I know that car rentals, the AMX green card, I get three points on a dollar. But sometimes the car rentals on Chase's portal can be a little cheaper, depending on, you know, what where I'm, where I'm searching for cars. If it is a little cheaper... I'm going to use my CSR because I'm going to earn 10 points on a dollar for car rentals. And I also earn 10 points per dollar on Lyft. And then you have Chase Dining, uh, a portal as well. And then you have three points on a dollar all travel like your excursions and activities. So this is what I use my CSR for. Lyft, uh, Dining Portal, and car rentals. And then, of course, if I were to book, uh, you know, an excursion here or there, I'm going to use my Chase Sapphire Reserve. The great thing is it's a Visa card. So not only am I getting three points on a dollar, a lot of people accept Visa. And then the last card in this, this screen here is my City Strata Premier. We call it City Premier. I know they just added the Strata recently. And here's why. This is a sleeper card. This card gives you 10 points on a dollar on attractions through the city portal. So if you book uh, you know, uh, Disney, well, Disney tickets doesn't pop up in a portal, but universal tickets or any type of, uh, any type of attraction, even, um, Beyonce tickets or some type of concert tickets through the portal, you can earn 10 points on a the dollar. Then also, in addition, you earn three points on a dollar in restaurants, supermarkets, and here's the key one because restaurants and supermarkets, you know, I'm using that AMX gold. Three points on a dollar on gas, a lot of, and EV charging, electrical vehicle charging. So EV charging and gas, you earn three points on a dollar. Now, here's the thing about my city premiere. City transfers to Turkish Airlines. There's only two that transfer to Turkish Airlines, City and Built. Because if, let's say, I'm, I know I'm going to be flying Turkish Airlines, then I'll start using my City Premier on restaurants and supermarkets in addition to gas because I want to earn more points towards booking that free travel on Turkish Airlines. So those are the things to think about. This is my family of four. We just did this to take a picture. We actually had four seats. We had the quad. This is us flying Qatar Q Suites, live flat seats amazing check us out on instagram now hotel personal cards these are my favorite two cards i have several hotel cards you know hyatt and ig but hilton and marriott are my top two here's why i don't like to chase status i don't have time for that I, you know i travel as a family and i don't always want to go you know what i gotta stay so many days to get status these two cards will give you the top tier status that you need that's going to give you those benefits for example my Hilton Aspire card immediately gives me automatic diamond status. What does diamond status give you? Diamond status gives you free breakfast, daily breakfast for you and your guests. It gives you executive lounge access. Executive lounge, what is that? So it's a lounge that's in the hotel, and I always choose hotels that have an executive lounge because during the hours of six and eight, they have happy hour where you have free alcohol, even though I don't drink, but hey, you know, my wife does. Free alcohol, um, they have finger food or hors d'oeuvres there, but here's the thing. Sometimes, depending on what country you're in, sometimes they'll have like steak medallions, all sorts of things, and they have actual, you know, food that you can order. I love that about the executive lounge. 
Then you also get complimentary upgrades to your room by being diamond status. Another thing, this card earns 14 points on the dollar when you use it to pay for those Hilton stays. So here's a tip, build everything to the room. So now you're earning points as well from that. Now, in addition to that, because you're diamond status, they give you 20 points on the dollar. That's a total of 34 points on the dollar just by using this card at a Hilton. That's why this is my one of my favorite uh, hotel cards. The other thing with this card is that I tell people it has an array of different benefits, like an extra $200 Hilton Resort credit, uh, $200 airline fee credit. It's, uh, it's one of the best hotel cards out there. The next best card for me is going to be the American Express Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card. Now, this card automatically gives you platinum status with Marriott. What does that mean? Free breakfast daily for you and your guests. And M Club Lounge Access. M Club is is equivalent to an executive lounge in Hilton. So Hilton's brand. So M Club is just a Marriott Club Access. So same thing with Hilton. During the happy hour between about 6 and 8, you get free alcohol, you have food, the M Club, and then they have, uh, they usually have candy in there, coffee, tea, drinks, all sorts of things. And you also get complimentary upgrades to your room because you're platinum status. That's why I love these two cards because off the back, I'm getting status that's going to give me my free breakfast. Why would I want to stay a bunch of nights when I could just have these two cards? Next, Hilton Redemptions. I want to show you what I've done with my Hilton Redemptions. So also with these two cards I, I neglected to mention is that the Hilton Aspire card comes with a free night certificate, FNC. The free night certificate be, can be used for any standard room across all of Hilton's properties. Also, the AMX uh, Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant card, this also comes with a free night certificate up to 85,000 points, and then you can add an additional 15,000 points to make it a total of 100,000 points. But let me tell you what I've done with my Hilton Redemptions. My wife and I and a family of four, and as you can see, all three of them here, I'm taking a picture, that's me standing there, right? We stayed at, this is the presidential suite in Conrad Bora Bora. Now, we did not book the presidential suite. We booked a standard room, and then we got upgraded using our Tricks to Travel email template. Now, Conrad Bora Bora, if you look it up online, it's going to be like five, 600,000 points a night. But there's a trick where you can find it at 120,000 points per night. Or, and that's going to be equivalent to a standard room, or you can use your free night certificate from Hilton. And that's what I did. I used my free night certificates. I have five Inspire cards. I have three, and my wife has two. We combine them for five free nights every single year. Then there's a way to stretch it to make it 10 nights. And that's what I did here. Waldorf Historia Maldives was another place that I've redeemed. If you look up online, the Waldorf Historia Maldives, which is a Hilton property, that this property is like $3,000 plus a night. If you look online, it'll tell you it's 1 million points per night. But if there's a little trick where you can see for 150,000 points a night or standard room where you can also use a free night certificate. That's what FNC means. Free night certificate when it comes to those acronyms. Now, you're wondering, like, are, are you going to tell me how to find this? Yes, I am going to tell you how to find it for this cheap rate of 120,000, 150,000 points. But it's not just for these properties, for any property in Hilton. Check this out. This is how you do it the manual way. So when you go online, you go on Hilton.com, you sign in, and you check off that you're going to look for a reward, you know, um, Hilton points, right? So uh, a points redemption. So you check off here, points and miles. Points and money is what it says, actually. So when you check that off and you choose the date, what I want you to do, I usually choose the first of the month, you know, if I'm looking for the whole month of October. So I choose only one day. You don't want to choose a week. You want to choose one day. So one day I just chose the first to the second. And then you check off right here. This is the key. You check off my dates are flexible. When you check off my dates are flexible and then you hit search, now it's going to show you a month view the whole month look the whole month of october you can actually there's a little arrow too when you're searching where you can search the you know the next month the next month after that here's the thing it will show you now if i did a week's time frame it would have showed me oh it's only gonna it's gonna cost me like 1.3 million points per night this is 1.3 million this is 1.5 this is for premium rooms but i want to see the standard room 
I didn't even highlight this, but there's two rooms here. I missed the first and I missed the 17th. But I wanted to show you, look, a string of nights. Sixth, seventh, and the eighth, ninth. 150,000 points a night. Standard room. Look right here, the 15th, the 19th, the 25th, 31st, 17th I missed, and the first up here. Now, you go, but I, Ronnie, I want to stay the whole week. This is what you do. Once you find this string of nights, now you do the search and say, okay, I want the 6th to the ninth because you know it's going to come up to 150,000 points a night. You can book that with your points if you have that, or if you have the free night certificates, you can book it as well. And that's what I did. I booked free night certificates. Now you go, okay, Ronnie, well, what about the ninth through the 13th because I want to go the whole week? This is what you do. This is the manual way. You're like, I don't want to keep searching like every day, right, just to see if it's available. Here's what you do. You use staywithpoints.com. This is a free service. They do have a paid version, but the free one works because you could do one price alert. Uh, I mean, one alert with the free one. With the paid one, you know, you could do multiple, but I'm only looking for this hotel. So they do alerts, point alerts with Hilton, Hyatt, and Marriott. You can put in a uh, an, uh, set up an alert to say, listen, when it drops to 150,000 points or less, I want to be alerted at this particular property, you know, the Maldives, the Conrad Board or whatever property it is, and you set up the alert on those days. Boom, when you get the alert, you get a notification, you can get it to your cell phone, you get it to your email. When you get that notification, you go in and you book it. Now, sometimes these high-end properties, you have to book, you know, one night at a time. But that's okay. Once you book one night at a time, you get your whole week, you just call Hilton and you ask them, hey, just string all my, my um, what you call it, especially the Diamond Desk. You call the Diamond Desk and say, hey, just string all of my nights together in one reservation. They'll set it up for you so that when you get there, they know, hey, keep me in the same room. I'm here from this day to this day, even though I have 10 bookings or seven bookings or whatever the case may be, because you got one night each. We ended up having to do about three, three different bookings when we stayed at the World of Story Maldives, but it was well worth it. Staywithpoints.com. It is this right here, dot com. Uh, if you put the www in front of it, it, it doesn't always pop up. So you can just Google staywithpoints.com or just type in staywithpoints.com. Next, airline and then my built personal card. Now, airline cards, I have, I have it. I have AA, I have Delta, I have United, but this is just talking about my favorite one. So my favorite airline card is going to be my United Infinite card. And here's why. I live in a United hub. We live in a DMV. We live in the Maryland area. So the DMV, the one of the major, we do have B BWI, which is Delta, um, DCA, which is AA. But the big international one we fly out the most is IAD or Dulles. So that's a United hub. That's why I have a United card. But this is also why I don't use my American Express Platinum card to pay for United flights. Here's why. With the United Infinite card, which is the top tier card of United, the highest annual fee as well, but has the most benefits, this card gives me four points on the dollar plus an additional five points on the dollar as United Club member for a total of nine points or nine miles per dollar on United flights. A AMX Platinum is not beating that. I'm only getting five. That is why I use my United Infinite card. Nine points on the dollar. Then this card also gives you United Club access, which here's the crazy part. If you're flying Polaris or Business First Class on United and you're flying domestic, do you know if you don't have status, they won't give you lounge access? You actually have to have this card or have like, you know, the United Explorer card where they give you two free passes a year. I love this card because it gives me unlimited, infinite United Club access for me and those on my itinerary. So my entire family, all four of us are going to United Club access. Even if we're flying domestic and even if we're flying economy, which we haven't in a while, but if we were, we can use the United Infinite card to get us uh, club lounge access. This also gives you two points on a dollar on all travel related items. So. If I know I'm going to fly United, I may use this card to earn like, you know, two points on a dollar on travel related or the big excursions, things of that nature, because no one transfers to United other than Chase and Built. Only two people transfer to United. This is why I, you know, I'll use the card if I know I'm going to be flying United and I need to, you know, I need to rack up some miles. Now, Built is my other personal card, my last personal card that I like. Now, I like this card, not necessarily to use it all the time, but I like it because, one, it has no annual fee. Two, it transfers to United 
Cathay Pacific and Turkish amongst other airlines. So Turkish Airlines is one of my favorites, but the only people that transfer to them is City and now Built. So that's why I like Built. If I want to rack up on my Built, I can transfer if I'm using it for United or Turkish Airlines. It used to be AA and I got to remove that. AA, they just removed. They just removed this year. The beginning of this year, 2024, they removed AA from it. Hopefully it comes back. But the great thing about Built Rewards is you can also earn points on rent. So if you're renting, I'm not a renter now. I have a mortgage, but there's also certain mortgage companies, and I teach that in my course, that you can use built for to earn points. They also do promos where on the first of every month, you can earn, you know, double, triple points as well. So that's why it's one of my favorite cards, mainly because it has no annual fee and also because the points can transfer to multiple different airlines that others cannot, like United and Turkish Airlines. Now, does multiple cards impact your credit score? Yes and no. And this is a myth I'm going to I'm going to bust here. I have, and this is not all my cards, this is an old picture. I have 45 travel cards. Yes, you heard that right, 45. Do you need 45 cards? No. My top 10 is great to have, and that's pretty much it, right? But 45 I have, but guess what? My credit score as of 9924, and you know, whenever you watch this video, I promise you it's still going to be up there. It's at 847 right now. And I tell people, look, just stay above a 760. A 761 to 850 is pretty much. You know, that's excellent. So, you know, doesn't matter what you're trying to get. If you have a 761 and above, you have an excellent score. So this is what I tell people with that. I use, I have multiple cards. And here's what happens. When you first apply, yes, you get dinged first because, you know, you apply for a credit card. But your credit score actually goes up when you have a more available credit. So that's what people, all you have to do is use it like a debit card. Use it, immediately pay it off. Don't run balances on your card and you will notice your scores goes up. If you, even if you went to creditkarma.com, it tells you to be in a certain category and it tell you to have excellent, they want you to have nine or more cards. It literally shows that to you. Now, some of you may say, oh, this is a lot about the credit cards. Uh, I can't get a credit card right now. That doesn't mean you cannot learn and you cannot travel hack. Here's why. If you're building your credit right now, you're still kind of building your credit, here's a, here's a card you should get. It's not, not actually a card. It's an account that comes with a card. You want to get the American Express Rewards Checking Account. They have an American Express Rewards Checking personal and they have an American Express Rewards business checking account. Either car, either of those accounts will earn you a half a point per dollar by using their debit card. So listen, if you bank with whatever bank, I bank with Wells Fargo, Andrews, blah, 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 you start moving your money into American Express, get this checking, this rewards checking account and start using this debit card. If this is assuming you can't get any credit cards right now or, you know, you're working on building your credit, you want to still earn some type of points. So instead of using regular debit cards, you're going to use this American Express debit card and you're going to earn a half a point per dollar. It's not a point per dollar, but guess what? It's better than nothing because right now you're not using anything, right? <laughs> right? You're learning about the points and miles. So if you're still building your credit, you want to get the American Express rewards checking an account. Now, how am I earning so many points though that I'm always flying and staying in luxury? As you can see, my family and I, we're here in the A380 Emirates. This is a bar in the sky. We're here in Santorini as a family. We went to Tokyo Disneyland as a family. We stayed and flew nothing but first in business class for the last five years as a family. How am I doing that? By thinking outside the box. Here's how I think outside the box. You can earn flights with Rakuten. Well, earn points to earn free flights with Rakuten. And here's how. If you do not have Rakuten, right here on the screen, scan that that code right there, that QR code, scan it so that you can sign up right now because it is completely free to sign up for Rakuten. Now, once you sign up for Rakuten, it earns standard cash back, but you don't want to earn cash back. You want to earn AMX points. So the trick is to switch it from earning cash back to earning AMX points, you have to have a card that earns AMX points. So like your AMX Platinum, your Gold, your Green, these cards earn, or the Blue, they earn AMX points. But guess what? If you can't get a credit card right now, remember I told you, you can get what? This debit card. 
that debit card earns AMX points. So you can have that checking account with the debit card, which earns AMX points, gives you a login to AMX, and you will be able to switch your Rakuten from earning cash back to earning AMX points. Here's why you want to do that. As you can see, I almost have a million points earned since joining in 2021. I, I will have a million by the end of this year because I have 70,000. About 70,000 is coming over soon. Now, here's why. Let's say this is what people when they were doing cash back, right? Let's say you earned about $30 per transaction cash back and you had 50 transactions, which is assuming, right? So $30 times 50 is $1,500 cash back. The person who doesn't know any better would go, oh, I got $1,500 cash back. Great. But if you really want to travel, that $1,500 could be even bigger. Here's why. $30 is equivalent to 3,000 AMX points. So now you take that same equation, 3,000 times 50 is 150,000 AMX points. That's a lot. That's worth well more than $1,500. Why? Because AMX points transfers to 20 different airlines one to one. You can transfer to pretty much all my favorites. You have Emirates, you have Virgin Atlantic, Qatar, Ithias, Singapore Airlines, ANA, all the big ones, all the, the, the top five in, in the world are all right here that AMX transfer to. Flying Blue, Air France and KLM, an array of different ones, Aeroplan, British Airways, so many different airlines, even JetBlue and Qantas. And also these points, not one-to-one, -one, a little higher, Marriott, Choice Hotels, and Hilton. I don't use my AMX points to transfer to hotels though, but it is great for airlines. Here's why. That $1,500, which is now 150,000 AMX points, will get you a business class ticket or first class ticket round trip, depending on which carrier. You can book right now Singapore Airlines for like 143,000 in first class round trip on Singapore Airlines. And these points transfers to Singapore Airlines one to one. That is why you want to earn AMX points and not cash back. Other ways you can earn points that people don't know, and this is without credit cards. You can earn points from doing surveys, literally doing surveys. So Guest Opinions earns Hilton points, Miles for Opinions earns AA points, Jet Opinions earns JetBlue points, and one of my favorites is My Points. Now My Points, I'm going to show you how I actually got a free flight using My Points, and this is what I did. We were flying to Bora Bora, as you saw earlier, right? So earning flights with my points. And there's a scan me right there. If you don't have my points, scan that QR code and let's get on board so that you can start earning my points, right? Now, here's what happens here. We were flying on uh, United Polaris to, to uh, Bora Bora. We flew to Tahiti uh, and we had, I had my, my points. My wife had her United points. You know, and then my youngest daughter, she was under two at the time. So she was a lap child. But you know who didn't have points? My little freeloader daughter right here. My oldest daughter, Nubia, as you can see in this picture, she's uh, three here. She has her own seat, but she didn't have her own points. I said, hey, Nubia, uh, you know. How are you going to get these points? How are you going to book these tickets? My, my daughter, Nubia, she, just like daddy. She goes, I don't know, daddy. You figure it out. <laughs> I, you know, now United, you know, the only people that transfer to United is Chase and um, Bill. Well, I didn't want to really, I didn't have built points, and I didn't really want to use my, my Chase points because Chase also transferred to multiple airlines. So I was like, there's another way. Here's the other way. You can literally, 13,800 my points is equivalent to 5,000 United miles. Now, you do have to do it one by one by one, but you can do it multiple times. As you can see, 9.25, 9.25 p.m., 9.26 p.m. I literally transferred. I had over 600,000 um, my points, and I transferred 13,800 each time, 5,000 points into my United account, 5,000 miles, as you can see. Boom, 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 came down the line, right? Once I transferred, I had probably about 100,000, 150,000 points, and I transferred 200,000 miles worth of my points, 200,000 United miles worth of my points into United to have enough points to now book, now book my daughter, her seat, and we now had three seats, United Polaris, two Tahiti, and then you take a, a shorter flight, Air Tahiti, to Bora Bora. That's how we got it, by literally just doing surveys. You could do sign-up things. There's all sorts of things that you'll see on my points. Definitely scan the QR code if you do not have my points because you'll get a bonus if you use my referral right here using this scan code. Now, other ways that you can also earn points. Earning miles through sharpening points. Uh, shopping portals. So a lot of people don't know this. You have Delta Sky Miles, you have United, 
AA, Southwest, JetBlue, and guess what? Emirates now has a miles wall that you can earn Emirates points. I love Emirates Airlines. Now, these are all portals that they're like plugins. You can plug into your computer, and all you're doing is you're going through them. You're still shopping at like Macy's and wherever you're going to shop at, but you're just going through their click-through, and you can earn points. Black Friday, when Black Friday comes up, I tell everybody, make sure you're going through those shopping portals or make sure you're going through Rakuten. Here's why. You can earn 10 and 20 points per dollar. It's crazy. Any, actually, anytime there's a sale, these uh, portals always have additional points. So a lot of times, I wait until the sales come before I even buy things that I need. Shopping portals is where it's at. And you don't have to have necessarily credit cards, people. You can shop through these portals and use your Amex debit card, the checking account, and get a half a point per dollar, but also you're earning points. So shop through the portals is key. Last but not least, fetch. If you do not have fetch, this is this right here, I love fetch because it's like little things, it's the, it's the smallest thing to do to earn the big, biggest points. If you don't have fetch, again, there's a QR code right here in the corner. Scan there and let's sign up because I'm going to get you a bonus 3,000 points just for signing up through uh, fetch with me. Now, here's the thing. You can actually add, get e-receipts as well. So the way you earn points with fetch is you literally just take a picture of your receipt. That's it. You take a picture of your receipt. It's crazy. You earn 25 points per receipt. And then there's little promos that they do. And I'll give you a prime example. It's right here. Here, My wife goes to Target every single week. I don't know why she goes to Target so much, but she does. Here's the crazy part. I like Mentos gum, right? So I say, hey, babe, when you go to Target, buy me some Mentos gum and buy me the big pack. Here's the thing. The big pack is a little over $5, like $5.49 or even I think it's $6 now. She bought two packs. You spend $5, you get 1,000 points. By spending $5, actually, she bought me like five packs. This only shows two here uh, for this particular transaction, but she now buys me more, right? She earned 1,000 points by spending $5. 1,000 points, and all she did at this, this receipt was $181, right? She spent $14.38 here, and it gave us 1,000 points per $5. She should have spent 15. I just realized it could have been 3,000 points. Now, that's an extra 1,000 points just by buying gum. They have these promos all the time. You can also connect your Amazon, Instacart, Walmart, and even your email. So you know when you get email receipts, it also scans it and adds 25 points uh, per receipt from, from just scanning your Amazon, Instacart, Walmart, Gmail, or Yahoo, whatever your email is. It is, it is clutch. Now, what can you use with these points? What can you do with them, right? You can take 32,500 points and get a $25 Visa gift card. What, what can you do with a Visa gift card? Well, you can buy flights with that. You can buy all sorts of things with that. You can, you can use it towards, you know, an excursion or whatever the case may be. You can combine them together. Airbnb, if you're an Airbnb person, you get $50 Airbnb credit. You can also get Uber, as you can see here, as well as Lyft over here. 53,000 points in Fetch is a $50 uh, Lyft or 56,000 uh, Uber. I mean, 56,000 Fetch points is $50 on Uber. And you know Uber Eats, they have that. A lot of things you can do with it. You can also look, cruises, celebrity cruises, as well as princess cruises. And this is just by taking pictures of your receipts. This is not even having a credit card. This is purely taking pictures of your receipts. I'm telling you right now, if you're not into the points hacking or to the points and miles, you need to get into it. I'm hoping by watching this call, you get into it. So here's five takeaways. Here's tips. One. I want you to get the right cards that work for you. Don't get cards that you see online that, you know, influencers are telling you to get or you see a big bonus. Like, for example, you live in Atlanta and you see a United card with a big bonus. You're probably not going to fly United if you live in Atlanta. That's a Delta hub. So you probably want to get the Delta card. You know what I mean? Know the hub that you live in. Also, big red bold letters here. Stop using cash, debit cards, and other credit cards that give you nothing in return but a receipt. So remember, the AMX American Express Rewards checking account, that's gonna, that debit card is going to give you a half a point per dollar. You want to use that type of card. That type of I, Actually, there's no other debit card that I know that actually earns points other than an American Express one. So you definitely don't want to use debit cards. You for sure don't want to use cash. And don't use credit cards that aren't travel cards if your goal is to travel. Now, next tip, create and travel email for all of your memberships. What I mean by that is this. A lot of times when you have a uh, email, like if you set up a membership with a Hilton and Delta, JetBlue or whatever the case may be, 
there's a lot of times they send you promos. But a lot of times we miss these promos, even if we signed up, because it's going to our personal email. And what happens? It goes into junk mail or we're tired of doing it and we unsubscribe because we're tired of getting these emails. Well, if you create a travel email and use that email for all your membership signups, that email and password, well, guess what? Now you just go to that travel email and you know that everything that's coming there is only going to be travel related. That's when you, you know, sit down once or twice per week, maybe a Wednesday and a Friday, just to see what type of deals are out there. They tell you first. They're members first. I know they have newsletters out there, but they tell the members first. With that email, you want to sign up. The next tip is sign up for all the hotel and airline memberships. Now, check this out. If you have ever flown any airline and you never had the membership, do you know 12 to 24 months ago you can actually bring in those points? For a prime example, if I flew JetBlue Airlines last year, sometime less than 12 months ago, right? And I was like, you know what? I didn't have a JetBlue membership and then I signed up for JetBlue membership. I can go back and give them the confirmation number of my my, my flight a year, less than a year ago, like eight, nine months ago, and they will give me the miles. They will credit it to my account. Now, the reason why I say 12 to 24 months is because during COVID, they extended it to 24 months. And there's still some airlines that still do 24 months. Most are 12, but the majority are 12 months, but some are 24. So it never hurts to try, right? Last but not least, when you get these bonus signups, let's use it for your dream destination. Don't use those, those sign-up bonuses for something that you can easily pay out of pocket. And I have an example for you. One of my co-workers wanted to go to Paris for their honeymoon. Well, they, they ended up doing it. This, was, this is old. They wanted to go to Paris for their honeymoon. It's like, Ron, how can I go there? I said, hey, get the Delta card. Delta Platinum card at the time had a 90,000 bonus sign-up, right? So they got the Delta card and... He, he was going to do his bachelor party. Uh, well, he did his bachelor party because he's married now. He did his bachelor party uh, Memorial Day weekend down in Miami. Now, we live in the DMV, northeast. A ticket from here to Miami is like anywhere between $150 to $250 is, is, a, good, is a good ticket, right? Round trip, nonstop. But at that time, the ticket prices, because he waited till last minute, were like $600. And he didn't want to pay $600. So you know what he did? He used his Delta miles, 60,000 Delta miles to book a, a flight to, to Miami. And I was like, no, no, no. Do not do that. So here's another tip. The great thing about booking with points and miles, guess what? You can cancel and get all your points and all your miles back. So I said, look, cancel the flight. Get your miles back. Put in a price alert on Google or Kayak and just say, hey, when the price drops below, let's say $400, alert me and then so you can go buy it. He did that and he ended up getting the tickets for about $350. Wasn't bad. It wasn't $600. He canceled his Delta miles, got all the miles back, and then ended up using 80,000 miles. No, it was uh, not even 80. It was, it was at the time of 70, 72, something like that. 1,000 miles round trip to Paris. Round trip to Paris. When he just spent 60 to go to Miami. That's why I always tell people, when you get these bonus signups, especially airline miles, try to go to one of those dream destinations you want to go to. Here's why. Because once you use those miles and you don't really know about travel hacking, you don't know the proper cards, you'll be using that card all the time for everyday purchases. Only get one point on a dollar and it will run you $60,000 to spend just to get 60,000 miles. You don't realize and you be like, you get depleted. You're like, ah, oh, I don't, I don't. I'm not earning a lot of points and miles because you don't know any better. So always use your sign-up bonuses to use it for dream destinations. Now, a lot of you are going to say, oh, I'm not earning points right now because I'm not flying in. Well, I'll learn this later. No, 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 no. Do you know you earn more points when you're not traveling than when you are traveling? Because why? You still have bills. You're still paying for groceries. You're still paying, you know, utility bill, your cell phone bill. You're still paying these bills. During the pandemic, this is how many miles and points I racked up in a whole year just by sitting around paying, you know, uh, going through rackets and double dipping and triple dipping on points. I had 8 million health points. I still have 8 million health points. I had 2 million AMX points. So many points by literally just racking up. So here's why you want to do that. 
Even if you're not traveling, you rack up these points because why? When it's time to travel, these are going to be your results. You're going to be able to go anywhere, anywhere that points and miles can take you, and you're going to have an abundant amount of points and miles because you've been racking up for the last year or two that you wasn't traveling. When we didn't have any kids, we went to all seven winners of the world. We did everywhere. We hit 100 countries in 2018. Just my wife and I, between 2013 and 2018, we hit 100 countries, people. And now we're starting to do 100 countries with our kids. So the results are you will be able to travel more. Now, this is a lot of information. Let's say, hey, Ronnie, this is a lot to take in. You know, I took some pointers. I took some notes. But I really need more help. Well, check this out. If you are willing to listen and learn, I can help you execute. I have a system, a five-star foolproof system that will absolutely help you win as long as you're willing to listen and learn. This is just a, a, a small sample of the 2,000 plus members who are taking learning my tricks to travel system that are, look at this, flying in first in business class. This couple went to Bali for the first time in business class in Qatar Q Suites for their honeymoon. Right now, this thing right now goes down. This is the ENFC. This goes down and that turns into one bed. Talk about joining a mile high club. <laughs> here's the thing. Actually, here's the bed right here. Uh, this, this young lady right here, she had the ENF suites turned into one bed here. You can fly in first in business class. I promise you. All you have to be doing, you have to be willing to listen and learn, and I will show you how to execute. Now, my tricks to travel system is not very expensive. It's it's a very affordable price, and I'm gonna tell you why. You can get my tricks to travel system for four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars total. And what does that give you? It gives you unlimited access to the course. And I have step-by-step, -step, 10 to 15-minute videos teaching you how to earn and maximize the points. Not just how to maximize, but how to earn. I have right now 154 lessons in the course. And it's not, you know, hour long. They're literally 10 to 15 minutes because, you know, that's the attention span. You also get unlimited access to an exclusive private tricks to travel community that's on Facebook. You can find it on Facebook, but you cannot join unless you have signed up for the course. Here is where you can ask additional questions. You can tag me personally. You can add, we, we have 2,000 people in the community and right now 2,000 as of when I created this video. And we might have three, you know, the goal is to get 1,000 new people every single year and only to about 10,000 because I'm trying to keep it small, right? Now, you can ask additional questions. You can find new, we post every single day, new tips, new tricks, all sorts of things. I promise you, it is not one of those communities you get in there and you see that it's dead. Last but not least, the third component is you get unlimited free access to our monthly masterclass Zoom calls. Every single month, I do master class Zoom calls. One Zoom call, we showed you how to do a round-the-world trip ticket for less than 200,000 miles in business class. Uh, we've, we have guest speakers all the time. We have a plethora of different videos covering the different topics. And guess what? They are all recorded and uploaded to the course. So even if you missed it, you never miss it because you once you sign up for the course, you have unlimited access. You have all access to all of our Zoom calls as well. So if you sign up right now, you can have access to 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024 Zoom calls. You will never miss anything. And guess what? Because you stay all the way to the end, taking your precious time to watch this video, I'm going to give you a bonus for taking your time watching this video you get $100 off. All you have to do is go to www.tricks2travel.com, sign up and use coupon code READY and you will get $100 off. So it won't be $4.99, it will be $3.99 for you. One time fee, lifetime access. Now, when you use this code, I'm going to throw in an extra bonus. You're going to, use, you're going to get a free one-on-one -on -one session with me by using the code READY. Not only do you get $100 off, you're also going to get a free one-on-one. -on -one. That one-on-one -on -one is worth more than $100. And here's what's going to happen. When you have your one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm going to actually break down how to book your dream destination with points and miles and show you and tell you exactly which cards to get to make sure we make it happen. That is how that last screen you saw all those people in first business class because they listened to me. If you want to sign up, 
right there. You can use your QR code. If you don't go to tricks2travel.com, tricks the number two, travel.com, you can use your phone right now and scan this QR code and it'll take you to the course. Remember, use the coupon code READY, READY, R-E-A-D-Y, READY, and you will get $100 off plus a free one-on-one. Now, if you're not following me or you want to know, hey, where can I find you? Well, guess what? Scan this QR code here. My Instagram is my name, Ronnie Dunstan. But you can scan this QR code and find all of my uh, social media outlets, TikTok, uh, the Facebook group, uh, the Road to 100 Countries Facebook group, the um, uh, Instagram page, TikTok. I said that. Oh, YouTube as well. Everywhere that I am on social media, scan this QR code and you can find us. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you learned some new tricks. Hopefully you, you want to join with us and you want to sign up. Again, one-time fee. It is a one-time lifetime access. One-time fee, lifetime access. Use the coupon code READY and you will get $100 off plus a free one-on-one. -on -one. And I promise you, I will help you win. Thank you. Now that you've completed the video, I hope you've learned some things that you can use towards free travel. Because here's the thing, I guarantee you, if you apply the knowledge that you learned today, just from your everyday expenses, your bills, and just things that you shop on, there's no reason why you should ever pay full price for a hotel or an airline again. Now, if you want additional help, you can definitely check out my Tricks to Travel system. My system has three components. It is not just a course, and it's not just a regular course, it's a continued learning course because tips and tricks always change, so I'm always updating the material. Not only do you get lifetime access to the course, you also get access to our a private community. In our private community, we have right now, right now we have a little over 2,000 people. And the people in the community are always posting new tips, tricks, and things that they've learned along the way. This is also an opportunity for you to ask questions, additional questions. So it's not just taking a course and like, well, where do I go from here? Then finally, the third component is we do monthly masterclass Zoom calls every single month and we cover an array of different topics. Like for example, how to book an around the world trip ticket for only 170,000 miles in business class. We also have guest speakers on some of these Zoom calls and all of the Zoom calls are recorded and uploaded to the course. So no matter when you join, you always have access and you'll never miss anything. So if you're looking for a place for not just to, to, to show you how to do things, but to teach you and take you step by step, as well as a community to help you, my Tricks to Travel community is it for you. So remember, make sure you sign up at tricks2travel.com and use the coupon code that you got tonight.